I'm from a very small town in Central California. I love it, I love my family, I love my friends back home. But growing up, I found myself time and time again that I wasn't being challenged. I was doing a lot of things, but I wasn't growing a ton in one particular thing. I didn't have a mentor in my life. I didn't have someone who was kind of guiding me along. And um, I was just hungry. I was hungry for something different. I was hungry for a community that would, would say, Josh, this is where you're at, but this is where you can be. I knew I wanted to be a worship leader. I knew that music was gonna be a big part of my life in pastoring people. But I was uncertain as to what that road would be and where that destination would be. I was in a choir at a junior college in the town that I grew up in, and Dr. Jackson from Point Loma was there, and he was working with our choir. I was really intrigued by his teaching style, and I was drawn to Dr. Jackson because of the passion he had for the university and for his work here. He invited me to come audition for a scholarship. I remember the day that I stepped foot on this campus, I was just like, man, this is a beautiful campus. But that's always the first thing people say, but it's not until you immerse yourself in the campus, you start meeting the teachers, you start meeting the people. And that was when I knew. I remember walking into the room and one of the piano professors was playing a piece waiting until I was gonna walk in the room and it was just like inspiring. I was like, how can someone be that great? And just to know that these people who have been immersing themselves in learning and growing and excellence, and they're so great already, but they want to learn and grow and get even better. And to see on their faces that they were excited of the potential of me coming to their school. And it was the first time that I felt that sense of belonging at Point Loma. It was like, this is going to be my new family. Going into Point Loma, all I can think about was how many technical things I was going to learn. I knew I was going to learn music theory. I was going to work on my craft and my voice, and I knew that I was going to be taking a lot of classes. And I had all those things in mind, but I didn't realize that, that I was going to be growing a lot as an individual too. Like, my character was going to be tested. I didn't know that the culture was going to cause me to become a better friend. I didn't realize it was going to cause me to become closer to Jesus. And so it was a really special time to know that that was kind of the start of something great and something really special. To see in movies and shows where universities, there's hundreds of people in a classroom and they get no communication or conversation with their professors. And here at Point Loma, it's, it's quite opposite. You have genuine relationships. I wasn't just a number. I wasn't just a small fish in a big pond. I was a student that they saw a future. They saw progress that could be made. And they pursued me just as I pursued this education. I loved my time at Point Loma because I got to lead many times with George. I interned with him for three years. Some of my fondest memories are just sitting in his living room with a cup of coffee and then turns gathered around and just talking about ways that we can sharpen our craft. Over my time leading worship more and more, I realized it's less and less about music and more and more about communicating. And not only communicating, but an invitation for people to experience Jesus in a fresh way with articulating scripture, having concise and clear thoughts to say on stage, and help a congregation be at ease and receptive. You know, being a musician and being music-minded, I wasn't always the greatest in certain subjects. And I think for me, what challenged me is that realizing that classes weren't secondary like leading worship in chapel. That was like my sweet spot. I love doing that. But then that didn't mean that my classes stopped. I remember being in a class with Dr. McKinney and I wasn't doing super well. And he pulled me aside after class and he said, you know, Josh, I know you're gonna lead worship and that's gonna be your thing. And I'm not asking you to go on and study this post undergrad, but if you're in, in, in church ministry, if you're gonna go into that field, you are called to excellence. And that's something that you will do for the rest of your life. You are called to a life of excellence. And so that was kind of like an aha moment for me where I realized that God put me in this place for such a time as this, that everything that was in front of me needed to be done with all my efforts. God was calling me to look at the overall picture, that these classes were gonna shape me for the rest of my life. and. 
I just remember seeing extreme growth because I was finally putting in just a little bit more. It created in me this, this hunger to be better. Looking at everything I do that I'm called to excellence, I'm called to do it to the best of my ability. That was a good lesson for me to realize that failing is okay because it helped me redirect and refocus. I think it goes back to that place of sometimes learning is hard and sometimes it's uncomfortable, but there is a day where you get to see the benefits and the fruits of the hard work and couldn't have done it without people pulling me along and picking me up and dusting off my back and saying, that's okay, you're gonna get them next time. It's all right, you're gonna get them next time. You know, seeing the gold in my work even when I didn't see it, because I naturally go to all the negatives. What did I do wrong? But a good teacher, a good mentor, this community, is one who says, this is the gold in you. And they pull the gold out and then they help polish the things that need to be polished. I believe that Point Loma trains great leaders because good leaders are good learners. Point Loma made me a better leader because I was put in a position to learn and to learn well. And you can't be a good leader unless you're willing to learn from someone who's done it before or someone who does it better. I found that if you want to lead people, you have to learn where they're at. You need to learn where they need to go. You need to be an encourager, a person who loves, a person who sees value in people. And those are all things that happened to me at Point Loma. I think it's really neat when you can leave college and be proud of that season, but then also be grateful for what that season set you up for. I get to encourage and help equip young worship leaders to carry on that legacy of Point Loma, which is investing in upcoming generations and realizing that there is value in being teachable. There is value in sowing into people. And there is value in loving Jesus and making sure that you live a life of integrity and character.